Hello my Luminites, it is Ivy and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, hello my name is Ivy also known as Intuitive IVM on YouTube and also on my Instagram and my TikTok. I have the lovely Nezuko with me here. This is Nezuko. She is my puppy. She is my six month old old English sheepdog puppy. I made a video all about her and how I manifested her. She is my dream dog. If you guys are new to this channel, this channel is all about the magical, the mystical, and the supernatural. So if you guys are interested in one or all three of those things, please consider hitting that subscribe button and becoming another member of our growing Luminite family. Today I have a huge spiritual slash witchy book haul for you guys. I have a lot of books here um, that I got on thrift books that I wanted to talk about. I've been having them for a while. I still haven't read any of these, but they have been sitting on my bookshelf. There is actually one that I'm reading that I'll actually show you guys as well. Yeah, so if you guys are interested in all of these witchy slash spiritual books that I got, please just stay tuned. All right, you guys, so let's just go ahead and get started. I'm gonna get started with the book that I'm currently reading. This is You Are Psychic by Deborah Lynn Katz. This is a psychic who has clairvoyance abilities, and she went to this, like, um, I believe it was in Sedona, Arizona. She went to some sort of, like, psychic school where she had no idea that she was psychic. She thought she was just, like, you know, everybody else, but apparently we all have these psychic abilities, and in this book, she teaches you the same methods that she learned in this psychic school. I am about 40% into the book. Um, so, so far I am loving this book so much. We just started getting into the psychic tools before she was just sort of describing the different psychic abilities and how it takes a toll on you. Not like in a bad way, but like just how, basically just showing you how it works so that when you start to feel these things, you kind of already know like, okay, I'm taking on somebody else's energy. I need to ground myself at this point. She's getting into the different types of psychic tools that you use. So we just went over grounding and how to really ground yourself and create this like um, um, sort of like thread from your root chakra down to the core of the earth. Um, and then we talked about how to dispel all external energies. Um, so I'm really enjoying this right now. The next book, this is a book that I started reading but wasn't getting that interested into it. Probably because I'm still in the prologue and the prologue is usually not the funnest thing to read. But this is called Beyond the Known Realization, a channel text by Paul, Paul Selig. So in 1987, a spiritual experience left Paul Selig clairvoyant. Since then, Selig has established himself as one of the foremost, foremost spiritual channels in the world. His unique connection has placed him in contact with the guides, beings of higher intelligence who share their voice and wisdom through him. Expanding on and transforming his previous work, Realization is his first volume, volume in the Beyond the Known trilogy. It's composed of the pure, unedited words of the guides as they offer their insight and knowledge through Selig. It serves as a psychological spiritual guide to take you beyond the perceived limitations of accepted reality and open your mind to the to ultimate manifestation. So this is a channeled text that the author was able to channel through his spirits or through the guides. And this is actually, I believe, something that he actually talked about, but they made it into its own book. Um, again, I feel like everybody has clairvoyant and all sort of psychic abilities. It's just a matter of unlocking them. So I'm very, very interested in reading this as well. The more that I get to know the uh, spiritual realm, the more I feel an attachment to them. The next book that I got is The Ascension Mysteries by David Wilcock, revealing the cosmic battle between good and evil. This is one that I'm so interested in reading. Um, Elizabeth April talks a lot about ex extraterrestrial, so this is a book that I'm super, super, super excited to be reading. It's a thick one. It's a big boy, but I'm excited to read this. 
So back here it says, through his contact with positive higher intelligence behind the UFO phenomenon, groundbreaking scientific information and data from high-ranking government whistleblowers, David reveals the truth that the Earth is now on the front lines of a battle that has been raging between positive and negative extraterrestrials for hundreds and thousands of years, which is something that Elizabeth April actually did talk about. The Ascension Mysteries explores the towering personal obstacles that David overcame to unlock the greatest secrets of our universe and looks ahead to what this battle means for each of us personally. By unifying ancient texts from a variety of religions with scientific data and insider testimony, David presents a stunning conclusion. The Earth is on the verge of a massive cosmic event that will transform matter, energy, consciousness, and biological life as we know it and will utterly defeat the greatest villains of our time. The next book that I got is called Spirited by Rebecca Rosen with Samantha Rose. This is Unlock Your Psychic Self and Change Your Life. I've been very obsessed with unlocking my psychic abilities. That is like my next thing that I want to conquer. I've conquered the tarot. I'm getting familiar with astrology. So the next thing that I want to conquer is my psychic abilities and being able to open that because I'm already able to talk to my spirit guides but I want to like really channel in and own in and just you know just unlock everything so this this is a national bestseller this says in spirited readers can learn how to dig into the past to identify the root of the damage that's keeping them from living their best lives in her colorful and youthfully vibrant voice medium to the stars rebecca rosen shows us how to draw on the power of our intuitive gifts to connect with spirit energy loved ones who have passed to provide the clarity necessary to master real life issues including relationships, job fulfillment, finances, finances, and body language. The next book that we have here is The Law of Attraction, The Basic Teachings of Abraham by Esther and Jerry Hicks. This one has the little thrift books logo. Some of them don't have this, some of them do for some reason. So this book this book is basic if you are familiar with abraham hicks and like all his teachings this might not be a book that's like unfamiliar to you i feel like most people know all about abraham hicks um but basically it says this book presents you with powerful basics of the original teachings of abraham within these pages you'll see how things wanted and unwanted are brought to you by the most powerful law of the universe the law of attraction that which is like unto itself is drawn. You've most likely heard the sayings, like attracts like, birds of a feather flock together, or it is done unto you as you believe. A belief is only a thought that you keep thinking. And although the law of attraction has been alluded to by some of the greatest teachers in history, it has never before been explained in as clear and practical terms as in this latest book by best-selling authors Esther and Jerry Hicks. Here you'll learn about the omnipresent laws that govern the universe and how to make them work to your advantage. The knowledge that you'll absorb from reading this book will take all the guesswork out of daily living. You'll finally understand just about everything that's happening in your own life as well as the lives of those you're interacting with. This book will help you joyously be, do, and have anything that you desire. So I've read The Secret, that's like my start to the Law of Attraction. I've read a lot of books about the Law of Attraction, including like You Are a Badass. But this is another one that I'm very interested in. The next book that we have here, this is another one that I heard first from Oh My Annie. This is called The Angel Exper Experiment by Corin Grio. This is a 21 day magical adventure to heal your life. So down to earth spiritual wisdom from the angels to heal your life. Mind blowing miracle from the angels saved Corin Grio's life, cured her lifelong depression, and awakened her spiritual gifts. She now teaches others all over the world how to awaken their intuition, heal illness and addiction, create financial abundance, and discover the true purpose by working with the divine. 
In this 21 day adventure, you'll learn a powerful way to talk to angels so that they can hear you and help you, how to hear, see, and feel the angels in your life, which specific archangels to call upon for your unique needs, 21 daily angel invocations to help you manifest miracles, and 21 healing meditations to detox your heart, mind, body, and soul. So this is another one that I am excited to read. <laughs> the next is from a very famous author. His name is James Van Pra, and this is Wisdom from Your Spirit Guide, a handbook to contact your soul's greatest teachers. Um, so this is a, James Van Pra has made uh, quite a few oracle decks. Um, I do have one, I think, by him, one or maybe two by him. Um, but he is also a life coach and he has his own like life coaching program that's actually not too much that I was actually interested in um, doing so maybe in the future we'll do that but this is his book it says so your spirit guides are waiting to talk to you whether you realize it or not you're in constant contact with your spirit guides your spirit guides a team of energetic beings are ever present spiritual teachers offering guidance support wisdom and love so this is just basically how to talk to them and how to contact your spirit guides but this is intuitive studies a complete course in mediumship this is by gordon smith now this one i honestly can't remember if i got this one on thrift books or if i got this one on hay house I want to say it was surf books because I can't remember buying a book on Hay House. Um, but this is a complete course in mediumship. This is, again, I've been getting very into like opening up my uh, mediumship and my psychic abilities. So this is another one that I really can't wait to read. This is during the many years he spent delivering messages of hope and love from the spirit world. Gordon Smith has observed how many people long to learn how to be more intuitive and would be and would love to be able to connect to the other side in the same way that he does. So basically he teaches you the basics and once you've gained the confidence in your skills he then he guides you to the next step of your journey showing you how you can use this special energy to help others. So I'm very interested in this one as well. I'll let you know how this one goes. So I got this one on thrift books. It's called Open Up the Channel, How to Connect with Your Guide by Sanaya Roman and Dwayne Packer. So this one says, throughout recorded history, it has been thought that only those with a special gift could connect with spirit guide, their higher self, or universal mind. But now, best-selling author and channel for Orin, Sanaya Roman has collaborated with Dwayne Packer, PhD, channel for Debin, to produce the first step-by-step -step guide to the art of channeling. Their methods can be used by anyone who wishes to open to higher dimensions. So very, again, very excited to read this one. So the next book, I think I saw this on TikTok. This is called The Pleiadian Promise, a guide to attaining group mind, claiming your sacred heritage and activating your destiny by Christine Day, author of Pleiadian Initiations of Light. The Pleiadians are a um, type of extraterrestrial race um, and they're very like wise. So um, they have, she has, I, I have like two books based off of the Pleiadians and like their teachings. Um, so this one is all about a guide to claiming your sacred heritage and answering your destiny's call. The Pleiadians are moving humanity onto our next phase of being here on Earth. Our reason for being here is now changing. Through the opening of a new multi-dimensional time frame, a pure light frequency has activated the sacred timing of an important aspect of their commitment to us as a human race. This was what the Pleiadians refer to as fulfilling the promise that was set in place lifetimes ago. Now it is time for them to reveal to us as the human race the sacred aspects of who we are and what we need to do to become fully self-realized and fulfill our role on Earth our earthly plane. I've always been very obsessed with the supernatural and like me being very strange, I've always felt like I'm different. So I felt very connected to the extraterrestrials. So very interested in contacting them. So next we have Life After Life. As you can see, this is an old book. Like this is like a used 
book from Thrift Books. This is Life After Life. This is basically, basically just like showing different kinds of like after death, like different experiences that people have. So here's another one that I was, again, very interested in reading. Next is another book by James Von Prowl. This is The Adventures of the Soul Journeys Through the Physical and Spiritual Dimensions. Um, as you can see, this looks kind of like a library book. It is a library book. It says King County Library System, but for some, for some reason they had it at Thrift Books. They just didn't even take the library sticker off. So Adventures of the Soul is a manual for anyone who has ever questioned where they come from, where, why they are here, and where they go after they die. So that's what this one is about. I'm not going to get into too much detail because there's so many books and I don't even know how long this video is already. So that is Adventures of the Soul. Next we have Bringers of the Dawn, Teachings from the Pleiadians by Barbara Marciniak. So this is again another book about Pleiadians. Um, so this is by a different author. Um, again, a very used book from Thrift Books. Um, it says, compiled from more than 400 years of channeling by Barbara Marciniak, Bringers of the Dawn imparts to us the wisdom of the Pleiadians, a group of the enlightened be beings who have come to Earth to help us discover how to reach a new stage of our evolution. So it's basically just different teachings from the Pleiadians who are basically beings that are trying to help us evolve. The next book that I have is The Seven Spiritual Laws for Parents, Guiding Your Children to Success and Fulfillment by Deepak Chopra. So this is a book that I really, really do want to read because me being a very spiritual person, I want to make sure that all these concepts and everything that I'm learning, I want my I want to make sure that I am able to pass it on to my children um, and teach them basically how to meditate, how to have these like this spiritual understanding, how to understand and to understand that the world isn't just this like oh what this person thinks of me and when that person thinks of me, it's something more divine and beautiful. Um, and so I want to be able to teach my kids all that. So that's why I'm very interested, why I was very interested in picking up this book. So the next book that I got is from Dolores Cannon. My godmother is a huge fan of Dolores Cannon. Dolores Cannon is a channeler who sort of like, um, she would go to sleep and then she'd like get these like channeled, insane channeled uh, messages. This hidden sacred knowledge are like different questions that people ask her and then her channeled answers. So this is many of us lived previous lives as keepers of sacred knowledge that were was taught in ancient mystery schools. Much of this knowledge was lost through time due to disasters and destruction and death. The knowledge was reserved, reserved for a select few who devoted their lives to understanding and teaching it. They usually had to live in isolated and secluded areas because the possession of such knowledge put their lives in danger. Many were killed for it, as those in power were usually afraid of anything they did not understand. Throughout the use of hypnosis and reincarnation, this book re accounts many lives in which people had such knowledge and wisdom. Now is the time for this knowledge to return to anyone who is ready to receive and understand it. Some topics within this book include Isis and the Machine People, bringing back ancient healing, color and sound, orbs of information, crystal skulls, Lumeria, Atlantis, Pompeii, hi hiding Jesus' teachings. So again, very, very interested in this book and the hidden knowledge behind it. Next we have The Seed of the Soul. So The Seed of the Soul is about the birth of a new species and the explosion of human perception past the five senses. It is about the values of the soul, harmony, cooperation, sharing, and reverence for life. It is about authentic power, the alignment of the personality with the soul. It is about the non-physical guides and teachers. The last book that I'm going to be showing you guys is another one by Deepak Chopra. This is Metahuman, Unleashing Your Infinite Potential. In this highly anticipated new book, Deepak Chopra unlocks the secrets of move to moving behind our present limitations to access a field of infinite possibilities. 
How does one do this? By becoming metahuman. To be metahuman, however, it isn't science fiction and it's certainly not about being a superhero. Rather, it means to move past the limitations constructed by the mind and to enter a new state of awareness in which we have deliberate and con create access to peak experiences that can transform people's lives from the inside out. So again, another book that really caught my attention. So that is it, you guys. That is like 15 different books that I got, 16 in total with the, the book that I'm reading now, that I got from a Thrift Books. If you guys, again, want me to do a review on any of these or any of these topics within these books, definitely let me know. Right now, I am reading You Are Psych so once that's done let me know if you guys want me to do a review on the you are psychic by uh, Deborah Lynn Katz anyways you guys thank you so much if you guys haven't yet please consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on that notification bell to be notified when I post I post three times a week thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video Bye.